Hello everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar. Here in this session, I'll be going to discuss about Laplace transforms of hyperbolic functions. Lecture series on control systems, mathematics, network theory, power systems, and lecture number seven. So our topic's name, Laplace transforms of hyperbolic functions. What is Laplace transform? This is the formal definition. The Laplace transform of a time domain function f of t, which is defined for all real numbers t greater than equals to zero. It is assumed that the value of the function is zero for t less than zero. And also, which is represented by f of s. It is an unilateral transform and the Laplace transform of a time domain function f of t is given as f of s equals to Laplace transform of f of t equals to zero to infinity f of t e to the power minus st dt. So what is Laplace transform? And this is the Laplace transform of f of t. This is the function f of t. This is the function of f of t. This is a time domain function. And this function satisfies t greater than or equals to 0. t greater than or equals to 0. And for t less than 0, the function is 0. t less than 0. So if we consider, if we consider this is the t tends to infinity, this part, this line, and this is the ori at origin t equals to zero, then satisfied zero to infinity, satisfied this region, satisfied this region. But t less than zero, that means this direction up to minus infinity, zero to minus infinity, the value of the function is zero. The value of the function is zero. This is also unilateral because only zero to infinity, not minus infinity to, not minus infinity to plus infinity. That's why this is unilateral function. And the symbol L stands for Laplace transform of. So this is called Laplace transform of function of T or Laplace transform of F of T equals to f of s equals to zero to infinity f of t or function of t e to the power minus st dt and this is time domain to frequency domain conversation where f of t is a function in time domain and f of s is a function in complex frequency and it is given as s is equal to sigma plus j omega. This is the value s is equal to sigma plus j omega. This is the s. Sigma is the real part of s and omega is the imaginary part of s. Where s is the intermediate or transformed variable and it is a part of the exponential function. It is, the, it is a part of the exponential function. It is a part of the exponential function. So sigma is the real part and the unit of sigma is new part and omega imaginary part and the unit of omega equals to rat per second, rat per second. So this is the Laplace transform definition. then it is obvious that Laplace transform changes a function in time domain to a function of frequency domain because this is the time domain function after Laplace transform, this is the frequency domain. So Laplace transform changes a function in time domain into a function of frequency domain. This is the very important properties. Then hyperbolic function, Laplace transform of sine h omega t or hyperbolic sine wave 
or f of t equals to sin h omega t or sin hyperbolic omega t. This is our problem, f of, f of t function equals to f of t equals to sin hyperbolic function. So what is the Laplace transform solution? The Laplace transform of the function sin h omega t or f of t equals to sin hyperbolic omega t is represented by this is the definition Laplace transform of f of t equals to f of s equals to 0 to infinity f of t equals to e to the power minus st dt. So f of t equals to what? f of t equals to sin h omega t. So put here f of, put here sin h omega t and integrate and determine the Laplace transform here f of t equals to sin h omega t. So Laplace transform of put here sin h omega t equals to f of s equals to zero to infinity sin h omega t e to the power minus s t dt. Put f of t equals to sin h omega t. Then sin h omega t equals to e to the power omega t minus e to the power minus omega t by two. This is the formula sin h omega t equals to e to the power omega t minus e to the power minus omega t by 2. So put here, put in this position, this is the value e to the power e to the power omega t minus e to the power j omega e to the power omega t divided by 2, divided by 2. And then we get sin h or hyperbolic hyperbolic omega t equals to f of s equals to 0 to infinity e to the power omega t minus e to the power minus omega t by 2 and into e to the power minus st multiply e to the power omega t into e to the power minus st and e to the power minus omega t into e to the power minus st then integrate. So common 1 by 2 0 to infinity e to the power omega t to the power minus st and e to the power minus omega t to the power minus s omega t then add addition and we get e to the power minus common s minus omega whole into t and second part e to the power minus s plus omega whole into t this is for laplace transform of sine hyperbolic omega t and then we get first integration e to the power minus s minus omega t by minus s minus omega and second part e to the power minus s plus omega t divided by s plus omega. Then put upper limit infinity, lower limit zero. And then we get, this is the upper limit, this is lower limit, this is upper limit and lower limit. And we get something to the power infinity to the power minus s minus omega whole into t. Put here, just put here infinity and put here zero. This is the zero magnitude. And second case, or second part, also one by two s plus omega, put here this t equals to infinity and this t equals to zero. This is equals to zero, this part also zero. So this value zero. This is also zero, this is also zero. Then we get zero minus one, 1 by minus 2 into s minus omega, second part 1 by 2 plus 2 into s plus omega into 0 minus 1. Then we get ultimate Laplace transform of sin h omega t equals to 1 by 2 into s minus omega minus 1 by 2 into s plus omega and just LCM s minus omega s plus omega s plus omega minus s plus omega then s is cancelled 2 omega by s minus omega s plus omega 2 to cancel omega by a plus b into a minus b and we get laplace transform of sine hyperbolic hyperbolic omega t equals to omega by s square minus s square minus omega square or si laplace transform of sine h omega t equals to omega by s square minus omega square. Then inverse Laplace of omega by s square minus omega square equals to sine hyperbolic omega t or sine h omega t. This is the Laplace transform and this is inverse Laplace transform for 
sine hyperbolic omega t. And another case, hyper hyperbolic function Laplace transform of cos h omega t or hyperbolic cosine function. This is the cosine function or f of t equals to cos h omega t. Cos cos h omega t. Then solution. What is the solution? That's just put f of t equals to f of t equals to cos h omega t. Then what is the formula? Formula equals to Laplace transform of f of t equals to f of s equals to zero to infinity f of t to the power minus s of t dt. Then put here, put here f of t equals to cos of this function, cos of h omega t, and integrate. So put f of t equals to cos h omega t. Then we get zero to infinity cos h omega t e to the power minus s t dt and cos of h omega t equals to Laplace transform of e to the power omega t plus e to the power minus omega t by two. Then put here, then put here this value, put here, put here, and we get Laplace transform of cos h. This is h omega t equals to f of s zero to infinity. Put here. Put here e to the power omega t plus e to the minus omega t by two e to the power minus s t and then multiply this into this and this into this and we get and we get half of zero to infinity e to the power omega t to the power minus o s t dt plus half of zero to infinity e to the power minus omega t e to the power minus s of t dt and then. This function equals to e to the power minus s minus omega whole into t dt, and second function equals to e to the power minus s minus common s plus omega whole into t. Then integrate, and we get e to the power minus first term. This is for this term. This is the integration e to the power minus s minus omega t divided by s minus omega, and second term e to the power minus s plus omega t. Whole into t divided by s plus omega, and we get this is the common factor minus one by two into s minus omega, and then put t equals to infinity and t equals to zero. Second case also t equals to infinity and t equals to zero, and we get this is the first value zero, second value one, and again first value zero, second value one, then. One by two into s minus omega plus one by two into s plus omega, just LCM, and we get the result omega by s minus omega into s plus omega, and Laplace transform of cos h omega t equals to s by this is this omega this omega cancel. This is the two s. And two two cancel. This two this two cancel, and then we get s by this is equivalent to actually s by s minus omega and s plus omega s plus omega s plus omega. Then we get s by s square plus minus omega square s by s square minus omega square. So. Laplace transform of cosine hyperbolic hyperbolic omega t equals to s by s square minus omega square and inverse Laplace of s by inverse Laplace of s by this is s by s square minus omega square equals to cos h omega t cos h omega t then another formula. Hyperbolic hyperbolic function Laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t sine h omega t or f of t equals to e to the power minus alpha t sine hyperbolic omega t. Then again solution the Laplace transform of the function e to the power minus alpha t sine h omega t or f of t equals to e to the power minus alpha t sine omega t is represented by Laplace transform of f of t equals to f of s. Equals to zero to infinity 
f of t to the power minus s t d t. Here f of t equals to e to the power minus alpha t sin h omega t. Just put here e to the power minus alpha t sin h omega t. And f of t equals to e to the power minus alpha t sin h omega t equals to e to the power omega t minus e to the minus omega t by two. And then we get f of t equals to this. This into this minus e to the minus alpha t into the minus omega t divided by two. Divided by two and common minus alpha minus omega whole into t minus alpha plus omega whole into t e to the power minus alpha minus omega whole into t minus e to the power minus alpha plus omega whole into t. Then we get just put here this function. Put here. Put this function in this position, and we get. Half of e to the power minus alpha minus omega whole into t minus e to the minus alpha plus omega whole into t minus e to the minus s t e to the minus s t. Then integrate and put upper limit and lower limit e to the power minus alpha minus omega plus s and minus of e to the power minus alpha plus omega minus minus plus s yes. so this is the form and next integrate and we get e to the power minus s plus alpha minus omega whole into t by s plus alpha minus omega plus e to the power minus s plus alpha plus omega whole into t by s plus alpha plus omega then put alpha equals t equals to infinity and zero this is the infinity and zero and 1 by s plus alpha minus omega outside then Put upper limit and lower limit. We get one by two in s plus alpha minus omega zero into one because this term zero and this is the one value and second case also this term zero and this is the one value. So simplify simplest value one by two in s plus alpha minus omega two in s plus alpha plus omega. Then again simplify and LCM. We get. This is the LCM, and we get it Laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t sine h omega t equals to. This is the s s cancel, alpha alpha cancel, two this omega t and this omega t two omega t two two cancel two omega, sorry two omega two two cancel. Just omega by a plus b into a minus b s minus alpha whole square minus omega square omega by s plus alpha whole, whole square minus omega square again inverse Laplace taking inverse Laplace and we get omega by s plus alpha whole square minus omega square equals to e to the power minus alpha t sine omega t. This is the inverse Laplace transform. This is the Laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t sine h omega. T. Then another function e to the power minus alpha t cos of omega t cos of h omega t. Actually, this is cos of h omega t h omega t. Then we get just put here f of t equals to e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t. Then we get. e to the power f of t equals to e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t then cos of h omega t equals to e to the power omega t plus e to the minus omega t by 2 and then multiply this function into this function this function into this function and we get this is the multiplication form and we get e to the power minus alpha minus omega whole into t plus e to the power minus alpha plus omega whole into t by 2 and Put here e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t equals to f of s equals to zero to infinity e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t e to the power minus s of t. Just put here. Just put in this position. This value. This value. Then we get. Then we get. Zero to infinity. One by two. 
e to the power minus alpha minus omega whole into t plus e to the power minus alpha plus omega whole into t to the minus st dt and multiplying also e to the minus st and then we get this term and ultimate e to the power minus alpha s plus alpha minus omega whole into t e to the power minus s plus alpha plus omega whole into t and integrate e to the power minus mt e to the power minus m by minus m so minus s plus alpha minus omega e to the power minus this value and again e to the minus mt by e to the power minus mt divided by m so minus s plus alpha plus omega whole into t s plus alpha plus omega into t put here t equals to infinity and t equals to zero and we get just put here infinity and zero and we get this is the infinity value first value second value zero second term also first value infinity second term zero and this is the zero this value zero this is one this is also zero this is also one so zero minus one and zero minus one and then we get simplest form e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t divided equals to 1 by 2 into s plus alpha minus omega plus 1 by 2 into s plus alpha plus omega and then simplify just simplify lcm and in this case alpha omega omega cancel 2s 2s plus 2 alpha 2s plus 2 alpha so two common s plus alpha numerator s plus alpha divided by a plus b into a minus b form so two common then s plus alpha minus omega s plus alpha plus omega so laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t equals to s plus alpha by s plus alpha minus omega s plus alpha plus omega and this is equivalent to s square minus v square s plus alpha whole square minus omega square and numerator terms s plus alpha so this is the laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t then then laplace transform of inverse laplace of s plus alpha by s plus alpha whole square minus omega square equals to e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t this is the inverse laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t formula of laplace transform laplace and inverse laplace transform for hyperbolic function so first formula laplace transform of sin h omega t equals to omega by s square minus omega square then laplace inverse laplace of omega by s square minus omega square equals to sin h omega t and laplace transform of cos h omega t equals to s by s square minus omega square inverse laplace of omega by s square minus omega square equals to cos h omega t similarly laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t equals to s plus alpha divided by s plus alpha whole square minus omega square and inverse laplace of s plus alpha by s plus alpha whole square minus omega square equals to e to the power minus alpha t cos of h omega t similarly for sine function sine hyperbolic function Laplace transform of e to the power minus alpha t sin h omega t equals to omega by s plus alpha whole square minus omega square and inverse Laplace of omega by s plus alpha whole square minus omega square equals to e to the power minus alpha t sin h omega t. These are all formula list. So thank you.